Do you find yourself lacking in efficiency? I'm going to teach you how to fish like a pro in Paleo. Stick around. Let's get into it. First off, you want to equip your fishing rod. As you get later in the game, you can equip different baits by right clicking. I'm going to show you what you can do with no bait. So you're going to hold down the left mouse button. You can see that I can have plenty of opportunities to aim where I want to cast. Once you release it's going to cast out, you want to keep a close eye on the bobber for activity. There's also a sound cue to listen for. Once you get the signal, click the left mouse button to set the hook and start reeling it in. Hold down the left mouse button to reel in and then move your mouse left to right to keep the fish bobber within the little parentheses. You'll notice that as the fish moves out, the health of the line starts to go down. If the health goes down all the way, you'll lose the fish. However, if you still have some health remaining once you reel in the fish, you'll be able to catch it. If you reel in the fish with perfect health, it'll be considered a perfect catch. Once you have access to better bait, you'll be able to catch higher level fish. All around Paleo, there's many places that you can fish that are clearly labeled. But don't stop there. Cast your line anywhere that there's water and see what you can catch. One of my favorite fishing spots is in Pavel Mines in Bahari Bay. There's an underground cavern there that has a great fishing spot with lots of rare fish. One of my favorite things about Paleo is that they have this emote system that allows you to cheer on other players. Now it might look goofy standing here and clapping and it might feel a little sarcastic, but it does have a purpose. Check out this buff. The more people that clap and participate, the buff will actually stack. So it's encouraged to fish with lots of friends and cheer each other on. Now it's worth noting that there are consumables that will also give you a buff, such as the fisherman's brew and the fish stew. Occasionally you'll catch fish that like to jump. You'll notice this because once they jump in the air, your parentheses will go red. Simply release your mouse during this time to give your line some time to recover. Make sure you keep the bobber inside the parentheses. If you keep this up, you'll be able to have a perfect catch every single time. 